Hey YouTube, it's Megan from Megan Casey Guitar, and I am going to walk you through a few strumming exercises today. This goes along with a worksheet set that I've made that you can get on my website. It's called Intro to Strumming. Let's see if I can link it up to this as well. So we've kind of covered this in some of my other videos, but I want to go over it again with a couple specific examples. And the main idea is let's just pick a chord. Um, let's do A minor. If you don't know A minor, you got second string, fourth string, third string, and we're going to be avoiding the sixth string on this one. But the whole idea is we're, this is assuming that we're in 4-4 four, four time, so we've got four beats in a measure, so that's your one, two, three, four, and we're going to do a downstroke and an upstroke for every beat, so this is what's known as eighth notes. So it's going to sound like this if it's totally even, one and two and three. So you can kind of tell, um, if you can get yourself to be a toe tapper, I think this is very useful because it can line up exactly with what your right hand is doing with the strumming. So every time we have a number like one, the tap, you're doing a down, and then every time we have an up strum, that's the and, and that's when your foot comes up. One and two and three and four and down, up, down, up, down, up, down. You're just letting your elbow do the work, keeping your right hand relaxed. Three and four and one and two and three and four and. Get used to saying those beats and to knowing exactly where each stroke is going. So every strumming pattern is basically a variation of this same thing, but we're introducing the air stroke, which is one of these beats we're going to intentionally miss. But the key is you have to keep your arm pumping. So my example number two, it, we go from one and two and three and four and two, one and two and and four and one and two and and four and. If you see this written out on chord sheets or whatever, sometimes they'll just tell you to do down, up, down, up, up, down, up. So you have two up strokes in a row, but the key is we are doing a, a down stroke where we're missing the strings on purpose. So this is what we mean by the air stroke. So here's what it looks and sounds like. One and two and and four and. Notice the way my hand still does that downward motion. One and two and three and four and. One and two and three and four and. So this is, I'm going to just do the bad example way. This is what a lot of you will try to do. Down, up, down, up, up, down, up. You'll try to stop and that just throws off the flow and it's really hard to keep track of where your beats are when you do it that way. So it's typical to be able to mimic it once, but to keep the pattern going. And four and one. You have to really know where that beat one is. To restart the pattern. One and two and and four and down, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, air, up, down, up, one and two and three and four. So on that beat three, I did, I mean, here's a side angle of it too. Here's what it looks like from the side. I'm just kind of pulling out a little bit. So there's that one. Good luck. Here's the second one I'm going to do with you today, which is actually number three. This one is very similar. You might hear my kids screaming in the background. We're all quarantined. It is what it is. So. <laughs> oh my goodness. So, okay. Here's number three. This one, we've got a quarter note in the beginning. So it's down, down, up, up, down, up. This one's a little tricky because we have the same air stroke on beat three that we're doing in the other one, but on this one, there's an air stroke that's an up. 
Now these ones are less obvious because here's the example. If I just do four down strokes, one, two, three, four, I have to move my hand back up to get to the low strings to do my next down strum anyway. So there's kind of an air stroke in there by default. So don't throw yourself off by doing some huge upward motion on your upstroke for the for the ands. So this one looks like down, down, up, up, down, up, one, two, and, and four, and one, two, and, and four, and. And if you know your numbered beats, then you can train yourself that if I'm saying a number, I'm doing a downstroke. If I'm saying and, then I'm doing an upstroke. So if it's one, two, and, and four, and one, two, and, and four, and one, two, and, and four, and that just implies the down, down, up, up, down, up. Okay, we will do more of these next time. Don't take on too many of these strumming patterns at once, and a really good way to practice these is to look up simple chord songs and just plug in the strumming pattern, and hopefully it'll work out for you and at least feel like you're playing a song, even if it's kind of a vanilla version of one. Hope everybody is staying creative and productive as we're all quarantined. If you're watching this in real time, when we are all trapped inside. I've actually been kind of having fun with it for the most part, but anyway, have a good day. Peace out.